It's Nicholas Wildstar, Libertarian candidate running for governor of California. Just wanted to say hello, <laughs> as well as provide you guys with a shadow cabinet response to all of the craziness that's been happening this, you know, happening this week in government. And one of the first things I'd like to talk about is our government's attempt to repeal Obamacare, which did fail. And it's sad because one of the few things that this bill would have done would, uh, would have gotten rid of the individual tax mandate on each and every one of us to be forced into buying in, um, health care, as well as the employer mandate imposed on companies and businesses to provide health insurance to all of their employees. So I, for one, am against both of these things. I don't think... Anybody should be forced to do anything that they don't want to. And especially when it comes to a choice such as health care, we shouldn't be forced to do anything. So um, as governor of California, I definitely would implement such policies that would provide each and every resident of the state of California an opportunity to get out of Obamacare if they choose to do so without penalty. And one of the one, uh, one of the things that... Obamacare does depend on is for each and every one of us to buy into this system using our tax dollars. And we should know from experience that government is incapable of providing us with anything of quality using our tax dollars, and they're expecting to use our tax dollars to provide us with quality health care. And this is a system that is broken. We definitely need to fix it. And government can't do that. It needs to be given to those professionals who knows, knows best. And as governor, as the first libertarian governor, I would do my best to get government out of where it doesn't belong. And one of those places being our hospitals and um, your health care. It doesn't it belongs to you and should be your choice. And um, so that's one of the first things that I'd like to talk about. And one of the second things that I'd like to speak on is the president's statements on banning all transgendered people from the military. I, for one, do not condone such statements and welcome any person of transgender to the state of California. I'd be happy to have you serve the military here. And I believe that any person that would like to support any person that would like to serve and protect would be happy to have you serve. So um, do not feel discriminated against by the president's statements. Uh, there's been attempts in the past to prevent black people and women and all sorts of people from getting involved into the military. And it's sad because this is rolling, rolling back uh, the clock on where we are supposed to be when it comes to unity. And I don't and do not feel that this president is doing everything in his power to unify us. But as governor of California would do everything in my ability to unify our country as well as the people in this state. And um, one of the next things that I'd like to talk about is uh, the the president's statements on police using excessive force when they arrest criminals. Now, granted. This statement was made when he was speaking um, to police officers or law enforcement about immigration issues and uh, arresting of suspected criminals that may be deported. However, to promote such excessive force of criminals, um, by all means, should not be accepted. And as governor of California, I definitely would not, uh, will let each and every law enforcement personnel in the state know that any excessive force or abuses against any suspected criminals would be unacceptable. And um, it should be unacceptable to you too. Me being a person of color, I know that these, um, these sites, uh, sorts of ideals have allowed police to use excessive force and abuse their power under the color of law. And we definitely need to make sure that the law of the land is being imposed and that our individual freedoms are being re respected and protected. And as governor of California, I would definitely do that, as well as make sure that we are safe from any foreign threat, uh, whether it be 
within or domestic or foreign. And uh, I do want to thank you all for taking a moment for, to hear these responses. And if you have any questions or would like to ask me um, or make any statements about what I've said, please feel free to leave me a comment below and excited conversation. I'm happy to talk to you and would like to do so in a positive manner. So please do, do the best that you can to keep it on a light note. But again, thank you all for your time. I do appreciate you uh, hearing me out and would like for you to continue to support me as well as pay attention to my campaign. So stay tuned and I will definitely do my best to keep in touch. Much love to you all. Peace and blessings and may the light of God and liberty shine in each and every one of you. Peace. Thank you.